back in the house. Uh, we're off to do another amazing RC adventure. You know it. Uh, we left early at 7.30 to drive for a few hours up to a city called Edmonton, and so many people have been asking for a new drift video. Well, wish granted. Wish, wish granted. granted. <laughs> so here we are, here's a unique event uh, set up by my buddy Mike here in Edmonton for the people uh, to come around. Not a lot of drifting going on in Calgary right now. Uh, also have a scale truck show and shine in here. Uh, I even brought down the judge. They wanted to have a little bit of a competition to see if they could square off the trucks, maybe do a little bit of a tug of war, or pull the judge, see what's going on. So many people have turned out. More and more are showing up uh, over the minutes. And I think we should have a good look at the trucks and see really what's available for you guys today. What's your name? My name is Brad. Brad, what's up, buddy? Nice. These are your rigs? What's going on here? All 3D printing stuff. You're 3D printing too? Yes. Man, we're going to have replicators around the world that'll make it anything pretty soon. That's what do you got? All kinds of scale accessories. I've got rims, coolers, jack stands. Uh, the jack stands are still in the toolbox currently. Great hood mods. Pretty much anything you can think of, man. Uh, Here's your email address, right? You bet. Nah. Uh, so here we go, some of the trucks that are coming out to be judged. Literally, maybe later on the judge, but this is for a show and shine competition. Look at this, pretty good rust job inside there. Looking all worn down. Ah, classic. The Jeep Rubicon. Looks like it's got great accessories in there. The doors are functional. I think that's a new bright body. I could be wrong. Wow, Pizza Planet delivery boy. You gotta have a small truck for a delivery company, hey? Wow, look at on top. Pizza Planet. <laughs> Here's one, purple one with the blue cage. Look at this, or pardon me, a purple body and black cage is what I meant to say. One too many RCs, light bar up at the top. This is a cage that I was actually running on uh, my original uh, RC four wheel drive high lift, the Trail Finder 2. Very good for protection. Man, a lot of people love their super scale rigs. This Jeep is no exception to that rule. Hey, ATV driver. It's like he's driving off road. That's pretty neat. I really like how beefy this guy's arms are, the arm joints. I'll have to find out where this was acquired. Drift, looks like a champ. Beautiful black beauty right here. Everyone loves a good classic black truck. Ah, look at this. High lift body. High lift axles. Mud slinger tires. Oh, nice, an F1 car. So really everything is brought out today just for fun, to have laughs and giggles. Doesn't really have to be in a class to show it off. People just wanted to come out and show their classic trucks. And really that's what the hobby is all about for me and for my friends, of course. Might mean different things for different folks. What a good way to end it off. Look at this, another yellow Jeep. We almost need to have a whole Jeep lineup here just so we can see all the Jeeps and the uh, Toyotas running together. Right on. Ah, scale garages are such a huge thing now. When Everett and I first started, we didn't see many of these at all, but the accessories that are being printed and created certainly have the ability to make you guys a great home scale garage. Look at that. That's impressive. That is impressive. Toolbox. The air compressor over there. Yep. Oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, kitchen sink in the back. <laughs> hey, Chris Rappel would love this from Scale Town, eh? Yeah, man. The prizes, trophies are all done up. It's always fun when you guys have an opportunity to take something home like that with you. <laughs> Check it out. The pizza truck lights up. <laughs> Man, I love creativity in RC. Right from the top, I can see that Epic Mealtime would be loving this rig, hey? Jack Daniels. <laughs> so you made all these body panels yourself? Yep. 
And inside, look at this, he's got wheel well protectors. I love how this is cut out for the shocks. RC four wheel drive rock crushers. These look different, you must have modified. Yeah. What are these? Yeah, they're rock crushers. They are rock, rock crushers. Nice job on the inside cut. Gives you a little bit more grip when you're in the mud, hey? Right on, man. So, starting on the left from where I'm standing, I want to see all the steel, 4x4 trucks, SX tanks, TFTs, bombers, gadgets, uh, trucks is crazy stuff. Uh, all 4x4 stuff starting on the left. And then all the uh, on-road cars, the drifters, uh, there's an F1 car I see over there. Let's start at the right. Let's get all these cars. I'm gonna head back over here because as you see, they've all swapped them around. Here's all the drift cars now getting lined up. Look at this one on the end. I love this. Super cool. Oh, wow. Oh, got it. Yep. Two at once. We must have got it. <laughs> More drift. Too, right? He did an amazing job. That's beautiful. I love that Silverado. You got attached. That took me like two years. So that one, yeah, maybe a little less. But there was less styrene there. Super cool. Oh, they're announcing the winner of earlier show and shine. Good job! Woohoo! Community spirit! Yeah, great show. Yeah, the today for the off-road show and shine is number 26. Nice! Great job, great job. Like I said, there's a lot of great stuff out there. A lot of great stuff. That's what we'd like to see on your next year. Let's see you guys